Hello, 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 my gorgeous sunshines. Okay, so today, first of all, let me say, I want to throw out a couple of shout outs to uh, a couple of my other subscribers that are uh, in this weight loss journey with me. And I appreciate your support. I'm here to support you. One of them is a nine to five diet, which put right there. And then the other one is Miss Murr, which I will put right there. And please go and support those ladies too in their weight loss journey because, you know, we're all in this together and it's a struggle. You know, I'm 50 years old and this weight is not coming off the way it did when I was 20 or 30 or 40 for that matter. <clears throat> you know, it's uh, when I was... 20 years old, I could eat a bag of Grippos and drink a Pepsi and lose three pounds. Now I do that and my ankles end up looking like a roast beef in the casing, a pot roast in the casing. So, uh, like I said, we're all on this together and let's support one another. And if you support me, I'll support you. If you shout out your channel, you know, and subscribe to mine, I'll come on over and throw you some support. And like I said, we can, we can do this together because Teamwork makes a dream work, right? So anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so this is going to be just a reminder to everybody that is doing this that even though we're fat doesn't mean we can't be cute. Because we get so caught up doing for everybody else that we forget to do for ourselves. And so do something every day that's intentional to make yourself feel good. So if that's to go for a walk, start out with, you know, 10 minutes, five, whatever you're able to do comfortably, five minutes, 10 minutes. Let me preface this by saying, consult a medical physician first. If you're in a space where you need to consult a medical physician before you go for a walk, please do so. But, you know, go for a walk, uh, garden, you know, there's all kind of stuff that you can do just to be out and about making yourself. I found that when I'm outside, when I get outside time, it makes me feel better. And that's something new because usually I'm a hermit and I stay in the house and I'm like, you know what, I need to get out and get some fresh air. It's We're, we're at that time in the program. So, but I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup today and then I'm going to do a really, really, really quick video and I'll post, if you want to skim pay, I'm just talking right now, putting on my makeup for the day, because this is what makes me feel good today. Might not tomorrow, just today. But I'll put the time right here as to when the video starts. So anyway, but if you're interested in watching me put on makeup, here we go. So I got, and I'm just going to talk until, you know. So let me tell you something that I have learned <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was drinking a lot of water, bottled water, you know, and which is great. Uh, and I'm getting my water in, but I found that I was becoming burnt out on water. So I'm like, well, let me, cause I'm a pop head. Like I, I love Pepsi. Pepsi is my fave. Um, and so I'm, you know, I'm a kind of ashamed to say this, but in a day I could easily drink, easily drink. Not to say that I did, but I could if somebody put a gun to my head or just not even a gun, just said, hey, can you drink a two liter of Pepsi in a day? Easy. That's not even really a challenge. Okay, so, um, but I switched to water and that has helped, has made all the difference. I try not to, I try not to drink um, too much diet pop because I don't want to like trade one thing for the other. And diet pop's not good for you either, you know. I should also say this too. This is me putting on my makeup. This is me putting on my makeup. So I love you guys. But if you guys have a problem with how I put on my makeup, I'm not a makeup artist. So this is what it is. This is the 50 year old that's growing a beard, putting on, trying to judge herself. Okay, so um, 
So anyway, uh, I switched out water. I started, I got a gallon of unsweetened tea, which is great. No calories, you know, no sugar. Awesome. Think I'm doing something great for myself. First of all, now I pee a lot, like more than I did even with the water. But the other thing that I noticed is that I drank it all day long and I didn't have a cutoff time for the tea. So I've been up every night, four or five times a night, because uh, I don't cut myself off from the tea. So that's a pro tip. If you trade out the, you know, if you trade it out for something that's got a lot of caffeine in it, um, be very careful. Be cognizant of that because I've also found that I am nocturnally snacking. And uh, we don't really want to do that. So thankfully, I got some of those nut thin, the pecan. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to insert that here because these things have saved me from eating a lot of bread and crackers and chips, believe it or not. So this is what I'm talking about. So that being said, they got the almond nut thins and they got the pecan nut thins and they are actually delicious. I can, they're not weird at all. So they kind of like, they, they've taken the place of like the crunch of a chip and you can have 19 of those crackers for 130 calories and it's like almost no sugar. I don't want to say it's not, no, it's not no sugar. I can't remember exactly what's on the back of it, but anyway. It's a lot better than eating a cracker or eating a piece of bread. So there's that. All right. So um, I said I was going to go for a walk today, but I don't think that that is going to happen. Well, it might. So the goal, the goal. What color is in this? Is there green in this? Yeah. So the goal is... Don't worry, I'm gonna turn tone this down some. The goal in all of this is to try to get some form of exercise every day. I'm not saying that I nail it every time, because I don't. There are there have been a couple of days this week. I have not nailed it. Uh, and I'm getting, I'm a work in progress. I'm getting better. So, you know, and that's all you can do is just be better than you were before. That's it. Right. We're all just trying to be, I don't know how it's going to turn out guys, but we're going to see. Ooh, that's glittery. <laughs> Um, we're all just trying to be, like I said, a little bit better than what we were the day before. And sometimes we do that. Sometimes we just stay the same. Ooh, this is very shiny. So if you're wondering, this eyeshadow, I don't know why, well... I'm going to say this. This eyeshadow is actually very, very pretty. I just don't think that it's going very well with what I have on, but I'm going to try to blend it out. These are Hard Candy from Hard Candy, the Glitterazzi. They're duos. So it's got this on like two different colors in one tube. I think they're like eight, eight bucks, something like that. And this one, maybe I put the glitter on. Oh, I think I did. Oh. So I think I wanted to put this one on because one of them usually is, yeah, one of them has got glitter in it, which, you know, I'm all about glitter. Now I'm going to say this, when somebody tells you how to do your makeup, 
that ain't a, that's not a professional. My thing is this. Let me live my best life. Maybe I want to look like an 80s hooker. <laughs> you know? Maybe that's the look I was going for. You don't know. You don't you don't get to judge me. So do what makes you feel good. I know this seems weird that I'm putting this color in here, and it seems weird to me too. But I'm gonna try to <laughs> I'm gonna try to tone down all this glitter. Because I think I've flown too close to the sun. Okay, it just needs to be up there. All right. But <clears throat> I was telling you guys in my last video, my mom found, yeah, that's too much. My mom found these, these 1980s, if you looked, I'm like, oh, my little, my little wing here. So not sexy. I'm going to fix this, guys. Don't worry. Um, my mom found these, uh, 1970s recipe book. She's actually in there in the kitchen right now, sorting through all of them. She was getting ready to throw some of them away. And then I saw what she was throwing away. I'm like, no, you don't throw those away. Oh, awesome sauce. Um, but I got one of them was this little book. I showed you guys this the other day. Diet Delights. My favorite recipes. All-time favorite recipes. Now, I cannot say that all the recipes in here... I don't even, I don't even know if they even sell that book anymore. But uh, I'm going to provide the recipe for the stuff that I make out of the book, and I will give them credit. Okay, I think we've toned it down a little bit now. You can't even see the blue anymore, because I think the blue was kind of a poor choice. All right. Um, what am I doing here now? Do I want? Yes. I don't wear fake eyelashes because I don't really know how to put them on. So, oh, you can't. Okay, so up close, up close. No, you can't in this camera. Up close, you can actually see the little bit of the, in my eyes actually look like a sunset. Turned out better than expected. Yep. <clears throat> oh, and this foundation is actually by Unique. And uh, it's called Mineral Touch. It's one of those um, cream to powder, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to tell you. I really like it now. I didn't before because it was too, it was the wrong color. But like once I lightened up or darkened up or whatever for the season change, um, I was able to use it. And so thank you. Shout out to my cousin, Kiana. And I'll provide her. Link in the description. Um, this is not paid advertising, by the way, for Unique. This is just me saying thanks, because I want to say that like when the color didn't match, she just refunded my money. So I kind of got it for free, so I feel like I kind of owe her. I don't normally advertise for people. Of course, I did just, I guess, give the advertisement for the nut thins, but... 
those are that's to help us not necessarily to help them although you know yin and yang i guess whatevs but anywho yeah so i am i have gotten hooked on watching this lady and i cannot remember I watch it on Facebook. I can't remember what her name is. I will provide it in the I'm sure she's got a YouTube channel. That's why. Um, but I watch her little stories on Facebook. And it's makeup and murder. It's that she I sit and watch her do her makeup and she's she does amazing makeup. But it almost makes you feel like you could do your makeup like that, even me knowing that I can't. And so anyway, she has these stories about murders that, murder mysteries or, you know, things of that nature that have taken place over the years. They're mesmerizing. And so, kind of gotten hooked on watching those late at night when I'm up on my tea binge. Oh, and that's the other thing. The other brilliant thing that I'm doing is while I'm up in the middle of the night, clearly peeing because I'm so full of tea from the other from earlier in the day. I drink more tea because why not double down? You know ridiculous re damn ridiculous okay do I want to put on do I want to put on the bottoms I think I do I'm an 80s girl and I know they say oh if you you don't need to put on black at the bottom I do anyway I do what I want. I am not disappointed with how I'm not just I'm not disappointed with how the eyelashes turned out. Let me just say that. Okay, so when I was at <clears throat> I am a couponer. So when I was at um, Walgreens yesterday, I got all these cover girls for free. Yes, I did have to ask to see a manager because she didn't want, because the machine didn't want to apply my coupon and these were marked down. And so I talked to the manager and basically I got these for free because I had the coupons and I'm like, these fit the description. So anyway, so I want to Two of these are the same color, but I want to see what this turns out to look like. Let's see. Oh, it's actually pink. Oh, oh they're really pigmented. Oh, no. Oh, that one. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, that was a mistake. We're just going to go with, this is hard candy too. I got this on clearance. But it's just basically like a lip gloss, you know. Got a little bit of color to it, but not a whole lot. There we go. There we go. So... Let me do my hairs. And here we go. So let's go ahead and get the recipe part of this program going. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Chop our veggies up to get this party started.
Okay, so the very first thing that the recipe called for was eight ounces of light sour cream, but instead I am going to be using this organic uh, whole milk yogurt plain. And, hold on a second, so I'm gonna measure this out in my other little, and make sure that I get a cup of it. Okay, I've got a cup here. We're gonna put this, this is a cup of the yogurt. Put this over here into our bowl. Then the recipe calls for a quarter cup of buttermilk. So we're going to scoop this to the side, get out our measuring cup. We're gonna put a quarter cup. That is, let's see here, halfway, right there. Okay, that's how much buttermilk. So yes, I had to buy a whole thing of buttermilk, yeah, for that much in this recipe. But you know, hey, it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to put this over into this. Next, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. But all I had, I'm not going back to the store. All I had was the dried parsley here. So that's what we're gonna use. So because it's dried, clearly it's condensed, I'm only gonna put in one tablespoon of this. I think that should be plenty. Oh yeah, okay. Then we've got a half of a teaspoon of dill weed. This is the dill weed. We've got half a teaspoon. Let me take the top off of this thing here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so. There's a half a teaspoon. And we've got a quarter teaspoon of both salt and pepper. So I've got iodized salt here. You know, use whatever salt you feel like would work best for you. You know, it's a salt and pepper to taste, but since we're trying to lose weight, that is sodium, keep that in mind. And it does cause you to hold on to water. So, and then let me get my, about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we got a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic. So here's our minced garlic right there. I really like garlic. I don't know why there's not more in it, but okay. Anyway, I'm putting a little bit more than a quarter of a teaspoon in it, you know. And I think that that's all there is to it. So we're just going to get in here and... Mix this all up. Looks good. Okay. So here's, here we go. Here's trying it. Mm. 
Okay. It's actually really good, but I think I'm going to put in another quarter teaspoon of minced garlic. Because I love garlic. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to put it in here. Okay. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Really good. I also feel like it could probably use a little bit more salt, but I'm not going to put that in there because I want to try to cut back on my salt intake. So, all in all, this is a really nice little dip. Um... So this recipe from this little book here was a go. And like I said, you know, you can tweak this. There you go. Diet Delights from the 1970s. I think it's the 70s. We'll check and see. So that's it. Thank you guys so much. I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so full disclosure, after my mom tasted it, she was like, this needs something, it's missing something. So we decided to add a half of a teaspoon of onion powder and it made all the difference. So I did include that in the, you know, in the ingredients, but I did that off camera. So just want to let you guys know that, that if you make the recipe, that makes sure to add in the onion powder because it is on point. So 13 calories a serving, you know, per tablespoon. I think ranch dressing, the average full strength ranch dressing is like 73 calories per tablespoon. This was, it was good. It was really good. So I hope you guys give this a try. Remember to make good choices this week. And until I see you guys on the next video, I love you guys so much. And until we meet again, peace out.